Yeah, I talked yeah, to Mooney Ward, Ward about Jair Brown. You know, because um, the one thing I love about Mooney is that he's a straight shooter, man. He's a straight shooter. And you can just you can go up to him and ask him anything, and he'll give you an honest answer. And so I thought, you know what? I haven't seen – I thought Jair Brown – was going to make a huge name for himself in this camp. And he made a play today. Jair Brown made a play today against the run where he tagged off on the running back. And it's like one of those things where you can't even really tell um, that the, the, you know, the safety's making a play against the run because the running back keeps running. But Jair Brown jumped in and made a play. I was standing next to Jack Hammer earlier in camp and he's or earlier in the day. And he's, and he had, uh, touted Jair as making another tackle. So I think Jair made a couple of nice plays, but he's not really flashing out there. He looks impressive when you watch him um, in the drills pre the team portion, but like he hasn't necessarily made any plays that made make you go, woo, you know, in the team portion. But here's here's my question to uh, to Mooney Ward. Niners corner about what he, you know, I was basically asking him what he thinks of, uh, of Jair. Let's play it. Hey, what do you think of, uh, Jair Brown, the rookie from Penn state, the safety? Yeah, I think he's a grown man. Like you look at him, like he looked like he'd been in the league already for a couple years. So I definitely think in the preseason, when the pass come on, he going to be smacking people around his game. Really going to show real good. Like in practice, he might not be making a lot of plays right now, but I know on game day, Sunday against whoever we play, he gonna be a dog. He a dog for sure. What's the indicator? What do you for Jair? Mm-hmm. Just his mentality. Like I said, his body type, his mentality. Like you look at him, like he kind of look mad, but he like a happy person. But on the field, like he he aggressive. He plays hard. He plays fast. So that's what I get from him. Like he plays hard, plays fast. He definitely not scared of nothing. How is? It? Yeah. So that was Jennifer Lee Chan who kind of followed up my question with uh, with a you know what was the indicator to Mooney Ward. But yeah, Jair, Jair, you know, you heard him say there, he's, he, you know, he's expecting <clears throat> once uh, the preseason starts that Jair's going to be, I love the way he said it too, smacking guys around. He's going to be smacking people around. Um, but yeah, he's good against the run. He's aggressive as heck against the run. And um, he's, a, he's a big time hitter, Jair Brown. So I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. We got a little indication of it today. But he hasn't really stepped into the hole and blown anybody up because you just don't blow guys up on your own team in uh, in training camp if you know what's what's good for you. Um, I did find it funny too that Kyle Shanahan was asked about how he felt about Cleveland Farrell uh, knocking Brock Purdy's arm the other day in practice, and Kyle was like, you know, I had to like. I forget exactly what he said. It was like something like I had to do something to, prov- per- you know, so I didn't go crazy, um, you know. So basically, they don't want to see that. You know, Brock Purdy's your starting freaking quarterback. You know, he probably had a heart how, attack. How hard is it to, you know? And and then he said, Kyle said he talks to the defensive players about it every day, every day. Stay off the quarterback. Stay off the quarterback. Stay off the quarterback. And he said, don't Farrell, touch Purdy. Yeah, don't touch any of the quarterbacks. He's like, you know, Kyle's like, hey, they're going in there with their hands, and they try to pull back at the last second, but it was it was like, dude, what are you thinking? And he's like, and I he goes something something like, I had to do this to prevent from getting, you know, mad. It was it was it was kind of a funny quote from Shanahan, but he was serious. You know, it's like, come on, Cleveland Farrell. Stop, you're, you're not gonna you're gonna knock the arm of of your quarterback that had an off season arms arm injury. Cleveland Farrell's got ten sacks in four seasons. Now he's gonna get a sack in the in in a meaningless practice and hurt the quarterback before you get to the first preseason game. I mean that's just beyond ridiculous. So yeah, Shanahan kind of weighed in on that today. But we have another cut Surprise. as well. Let's uh, let's play the other one from Shanahan. This was. Another guy who stood out today and is starting to stand out on a regular basis is Danny Gray. Danny Gray is starting to stand out. He's he's gotten stronger. He's a little bit bigger. Um, you know, Danny Gray is he's he can run off the coverage, but I mean he's easily the fastest guy on the team. 
but he's making plays and he's catching the ball with his hands. He's not body catching it. And he's in the last couple practices, he's starting to get it going and he's starting to look like the player that they took. And I asked Shanahan about him today. Is today, what do you? Oh, let me start. Kyle, Danny Gray made a couple of plays today. What are you seeing from him in this camp so far? Um, I think he's having a real good camp. You know, he put the work in in phase one, two, and three. Um, he's able to get through OTAs, um, working hard and not having an injury. And um, he obviously spent the forty days away well because he's catching the ball. He's in real good shape, and um, he's been out there very consistently. And the ball came his way a little more today. Yeah. So yeah, the, I think he either caught two balls or three balls today, and. You know, you heard Kyle there kind of talking about the fact that Danny, you know, is is putting in the work. And, you know, this is a great receiving core. But, you know, how many times, you know, I, not that I don't want to see Debo, not that I don't want to see Ayuk. okay? Those guys are great, and they're, they're going to be great. Uh, and they're going to have fantastic years. I want to see the other guys. You know, I want to see the other guys the rest of the way here. I mean, not that, you know, throw a, a, a few passes to Ayuk and to Debo. Keep them sharp. But the competition is between Ray Ray and Jawan and Conley and Danny Gray and Tay Martin and Ronnie Bell and Willie Sneed. And, you know, I mean, those are the guys that are competing. Um, I, want to see, I want to see those guys get the ball a lot. I want to find out, is Ronnie Bell better than Tay Martin? Is Tay Martin better than Ronnie Bell? They both have flashed. Um, I want to see, is Chris Conley still the speedster that he was coming out of Georgia, or has he lost some of that speed? Um, is Jawan Jennings, you know, going to, going to be on this roster? Uh, he's a restricted free agent at the end of the year. Are they going to trade him to another team at the cutdown and go with Ronnie Bell or Tay Martin? So to me, in my mind, it's Ayuk and Debo for sure. Ray Ray's your return guy. I think he'll be on the, on the roster. I think Danny Gray is your vertical threat, so I think he'll be on the roster. To me, the competition at wide receiver is going to come down to three guys. Juwan Jennings versus Tay Martin versus Ronnie Bell for one or two spots. I mean, there's other guys here. Daz Newsome, Isaiah Winstead, nothing. Willie Sneed's a nice player. But I really believe it's going to come down to Ronnie Bell versus Tay Martin versus Juwan Jennings for most likely one wide receiver spot. So that's going to be something to watch right there. And right I now, Jawan. Jawan Jennings looks like he's in the lead, but um, and he's probably the best of them. But Tay Martin is, is way improved from last year. He's stronger. And Ronnie Bell, there's a lot of polish to Ronnie Bell. So we'll see. We'll see. It's, it, I think you know, this Juwan is a cap Jennings sport. has a spot. I don't, I don't think Jawan Jennings is going to lose his spot. I think Danny Gray is playing for a playing for his life right now and his roster spot because he's actually competing with Ronnie Bell and Tay Martin. But I think I think Juwan Jennings is is the third guy. Third third I, I think third most, most people, Kev, guy. would agree with you. But all I'm saying is they're not giving Juwan Jennings a contract extension at the end of the year. This is probably his last year. That would be my guess. He's restricted That's at fair. the end of the year. And they're and they're also hugged up against the cap. And there's a team in Tennessee that has Rand Carthon that I'm sure I'm looking at their wide receiver core. They got Traylon Burks, they got D Hop, and then the rest of their wide receivers are horrible. So and Jawan's from Tennessee, played at Tennessee. Um, I would not be surprised if the 49ers could get a fifth round draft choice for Jawan Jennings at the cutdown from Tennessee. And if they are, if if you think that Juwan's a ten, and you think Ronnie Bell and Tay Martin are eights, and somebody comes and offers you a fifth round pick that for Juwan, you may consider doing it. You may consider doing it. It's 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 unlikely, but it's possible. I think Juwan's going to get paid next year from another team that doesn't have a lot of receivers, uh, similar to Kendrick Bourne. Like I think it's going to be a situation like that where the Niners say, "We loved you, Juwan, but." here take take that contract we're not going to match that but I, as of this year i think he's going to make the team and i think i think danny gray probably is the second or what would that be fourth most likely or no fifth after uh the return yeah, the only thing is is that danny so. gray creates space for others and and if you if you if you watch that all 22 
teams defend the Niners differently when Danny Gray's on the field. And I and I and, and Kyle doesn't watch the TV copy. All he watches is the all twenty. Does he block though? Is he gonna block though? Because you know that they love their blockers. No block, no rock. That's yeah. not, that's the same. Who said that yesterday? Someone said that yesterday. Uh, who did say it? Was it two days ago? Was, there, was it Lynch? It was Lynch, Lynch who said it. Lynch said oh, it. Really? Lynch said it in his presser on Monday. He's like, no block, no rock. But Danny Gray's starting to block. And uh, Danny Danny Gray though, I mean, Danny Gray runs off the coverage. Um, he and and to me, you got to have that. You got to have that piece. Yeah. He's an essential part. It's kind of like uh, an NBA team that doesn't have a three point shooter. You you want teams to defend the three point line. You got to have somebody who can make a three pointer. Uh, you want somebody to defend the deep third of the field. You got to have somebody who can make a play in the deep third of the field. Um, so I that that's how I see that. 